Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery doing a quick video on the new ZT0308 BLK TG. That BLK stands for Black, TG is the Tiger Stripe Blade. Um, this is the newest of the 308 uh, lineup. The other uh, new part is, of course, when they come in, they have a black titanium or a black DLC coating on the titanium side. Sorry, left hand's not the strongest. The Stonewash Tiger Blade. And they finally got smart and got the black G10 handle. Um, the original 308, of course, had that uh, coyote colored G10 handle. Um, definitely was a miss on ZT's part. I feel that really uh, impacted their sales on that model. Uh, we did dye a number of them. We had some blues, some purples, a uh, really nice maroon, and a whole slew of black ones. Um, very happy with the way the dyeing turned out on those. It did allow us to market something a little bit different than the Coyote. Um, but CT finally fixed the problem on this new model and uh, went with the Black G10. So definitely a win uh, with that change. Um, I have gone ahead and done a blade swap on one of these. So of course this is the regular 308. And we went ahead and just swapped black titanium handle. And then we have a dyed scale on this one. So this was one of the Coyote ones that we have dyed the scale. Um, so this is available. Uh, it'll be put up on the website. Um, for those of you that don't necessarily like that Tiger Wash blade, uh, this one is definitely available in the standard blade, but still has that nice black DLC coating. And again, the uh, dyed black G10 handle. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of these, which are all of the different versions that we have done up real quick. Um, go ahead and get a quick shot of that Tiger Blade. It is stone washed. I believe this is the first Tiger Blade that they've done a stone wash on. If it's anything like the standard black wash blades that ZT has done on a number of models in the past, it should hold up very nicely and also hide that wear and tear of everyday use. I'm a big fan of their black wash blades. I've carried a number of them for a long time and uh, they really do hold up and look nice. But uh, this is your Tiger with the stone wash. This is a nice high voltage purple. You've got a more subdued sandblast in the background and then a nice bright purple on all the high points, all the edges really turned out really nice. So you've got kind of a two-tone effect in that purple. Definitely turned out very nice. Lockup is about the same on all of these, nice and early. And they center up very nicely. Of course we do have the matching lanyard. And the action on these big overbuilt monsters is very nice. I really do like the quality of that G10 handle. And the black color makes all the difference. So this is the two-tone purple. Let's go ahead and jump into this two-tone high voltage blue. Again, all your low points have the sandblast where I removed all the DLC coating. All your high points, edges and everything are going to be that brighter color to really give you some pop. 
So I really do like the color with that Tiger Blade. Looks very good with the uh, black hardware. And of course again you've got that G10 handle. Centered up very nicely. And lock up again. It's just about the same on all these. Right about 40%. That is how they're coming from the factory. Nice solid blue with that two-tone effect. Very cool. I do like how they're using the uh, two screws on the lock bar insert. Give you a little more stability. And then you've got the wrench for undoing your pivot. This one again is going to be a two-tone. You've got kind of a tealy, teal color going into blue, going into purple. And you do again have that darker two-tone effect going through this one and all the low points again. Really turned out pretty sharp, giving it a little different effect. That purple is really nice looking in person. And the lighting here is not the greatest in the video, but uh, definitely turned out very nice. Again, lock up is right where it should be, 40-50%, and it is the same on all of these, right in that 40%. And there is your centering, and again, boom, fires out like a beast. We want something very different on this one. You've got a multicolor green background, and then we gave it a bronze drizzle, definitely giving it a lot of extra pop and color. Um, that multi green is pretty cool. You've got some dark green, some yellowy green, really looks pretty sharp in person. That bronze effect and the drizzle complements the blade nicely. Lock up again, same spot, and centering is right on the money. Very cool effect, and as always, we've gone ahead and paired out the lanyard with it, really giving you a very unique and custom one-off effect. Anything we can do to... Uh, Make these ZT knives stand out is always a good thing in my opinion. This one is wild looking in person. So this one has a gold high point and then a rose gold low point that is that more matte finish. Really looks cool in person. Not quite sure how the video is going to pick this one up. But this is a very, very cool looking rose gold variation on this one. Pops nicely with all that black hardware. Just a sharp looking knife. The action is about the same on each one of these. Got a nice strong detent. So that way when that big blade lets loose fires right into position. Lock up again. Same spot. And the centering is right on the money. So that is the gold rose gold version. And then this one we did go something a little different. You've got that high voltage green and then we sanded the high points and the edges and gave it a blue. So you've got this cool green background with this nice blue that comes out on all the high points. Very cool looking finish. This one pops really nicely. Looks really good in the hand. Very happy with the way this one turned out. But you got the blue all through the edges. Really cool looking. 
again. Fires out like a beast. Lock up. And centering. Right where it should be. So we've got uh, all of these will be posted tonight on the website. Uh, none of these have been spoken for quite yet, so if you are interested, definitely log on to www.jdcutlery.com. Don't expect that these will hang out very long, just because, of course, when you're looking at these one-off type situations, if you're a zero tolerance owner and want something different than every other guy down the street, then you go with the custom anno job. Well, thank you for tuning in. Um, please check us out on our website, and we'll see you on the next one.